Captain Gang, it's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge update. I know you guys could probably already tell it is going down just by that title alone. You're definitely going to see this one as we're witnessing an on stage mishap that just sent the entire Harris campaign crashing through the floor in this newest update, guys. I'm excited to check this one out. So we're up straight into it. Just make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Before we even get into it, you guys, hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button for you, boy. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it, folks. Check this out. <laughs> People have also noticed that when Kamala Harris does interviews, there happens to be a massive teleprompter waiting at the ready. This was during the Oprah interview. We don't have confirmation. Of course, you weren't. the audience wasn't allowed to film. And this person was sneaking this footage themselves. Don't have confirmation that Kamala Harris was reading from a script, but is it really, is it really beyond uh, the realm of possibility here that Kamala Harris was reading from a script in the Oprah Winfrey interview. Everything about Kamala Harris is fake. This is one of my, one of my favorite accounts. It's interesting. It's a bit like a big data guy, okay? A board member, big data pioneer, uh, Intel ops, uh, CIA, CIA contractor. He tracks cell phones, all right? So bro tracks cell phones. And he you're able to geofence when there are like big political events, rallies and things like that. And you're able to see the mobile device, uh, specific, specific mobile device uh, signals. And then you're able to map them out as to where those phones have gone and uh, you know what, what they were doing, where they've been. And this is really interesting. 4,000 mobile devices at Kamala Harris's rally in Flint, Michigan. So presumably there, there's 4,000 people, most people carry a mobile device on them in the modern era, the year 2024. So if there's 4,000 people at Kamala Harris's Michigan event, that's pretty impressive, right? Wow, wow, good for her. Using previous Harris rally overlay, so these are the, so, so how many of these unique devices have been to Kamala Harris rallies before? You can see that almost 4,000 of them were at three or more past rallies. Wow, that right there, that's proof paid and bust. And that's all I'm paid and bust, y'all. Almost 4,000 of them were at three or more past rallies. Well, that's a little strange. Um, maybe these people are just just unemployed and they do nothing but travel the country and go to Kamala Harris rallies. Or maybe they are employed and they go around traveling to Kamala Harris rallies because they're being paid by the Democrat Party. Just like the Paramore lead singer, right? Everything is fake. Kamala Harris, who often brags that she worked the fries at McDonald's without providing any proof, uh, clearly demonstrating here that she, she, she doesn't have the intelligence to do that, that she doesn't have the capacity, she wouldn't have the capacity to actually run the fries. The person running the fries at McDonald's is smarter than this. This is what happens when Kamala Harris's teleprompter breaks. Listen to this. Remember his number, 32. Today we got 32 days until the election. <laughs> So 32 days. No way. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. This is when the teleprompter breaks. All right. You can see right here. You can see the horror in her eyes. Look at that. Look, this is when she realizes that she's off. Prompter. Donald Trump doesn't even use a teleprompter. I tell you, he speaks straight off the cuff most of the time. You know, think about her, and I always think and reflect back to this. What about her with other world leaders, the world's notorious thugs? You know, she's in a meeting. She doesn't get a teleprompter, so how is she going to speak to these folks? See right here. You can see the horror in her eyes. Look at that. Look, this is when she realizes that she's off. Prompter. And no one is now telling her. No one is telling her what to say. To do, we got some business to do. All right, thirty-two days, and we know we will do it. What? And and this is going to be a very tight race until the very end. This is going to be a very tight race until the very end. We are the underdog. And we know okay? we have some hard work ahead. So she repeats herself four times. She says the number 32 four times. And then she just literally goes into like a like a, like a broken record script. 
Collins' teleprompter briefly went out during the beginning of her speech, and you can tell the exact moment when it happened. She absolutely had no idea what today. Something about that clip right there reminded me of back when I was in sixth grade and I was, you know, forced to do a book report and I got up there and tried to wing it on a book that I never read. Like that, that whole little interaction, that whole segment it just seemed like she was doing a book report on a book she never read before. It's bad. Being of her speech, and you can tell the exact moment when it happened, she absolutely had no idea what today, what to say, or what to do. Humiliating. Contrasting that, of course, with President Trump, who doesn't 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 read from a prompter like right. at all during his speeches. Right. You, that is a quite obvious. Donald Trump at recent speeches absolutely destroying Kamala Harris for this. Uh, firstly, in Butler, Pennsylvania, and then in Wisconsin. Here we go. Now we have so many others, and I won't do it because we have to really get out of here before it gets too cold for people. But I just, and I love it much better because this one teleprompter, not that I use the teleprompters too much. Isn't it nice to have a president that doesn't need a teleprompter? Come on now. That's what you cheer about. No, we don't want We don't need it. But this one was right smack in the sun. Great job back there, fellas. They said the teleprompters are working fine. Well, thank goodness. Did you see what happened the other day with the teleprompter with her? That was not a pretty sight. The teleprompter went off and she went off too. She didn't know what the hell happened. <laughs> and you know, teleprompters are very dangerous because they go off a lot. You have to be prepared for them to go off cold blank. You'll have 100,000 people. You have 75,000 people. You have this. And if the teleprompter goes off, you got to be able to move. She did not move well. This was not a good situation. Mm. We're not going to let him do it, Troy. We're not going to let her destroy our country. That ah, dummy. Did you see where the teleprompter went off yesterday? She didn't know what the hell. My teleprompter, I don't even use it. That's why I don't actually use it too much. But, you know, when you do this stuff a lot, teleprompters break. She had a bad moment yesterday. It broke. Right? And she kept saying the same number over and over. I said, what's wrong with her? Exactly. And maybe it, maybe it didn't break. I don't know. She said it, bro. But when you do this stuff, as we say professionally, you better be, you better, because I've lost it many times. I had one in Ohio. Kamala Harris has had a humiliating run in the media, prompter or no prompter. I still think she probably used a prompter during the Oprah interview. Uh, she decided to take this moment when there are, hundreds of thousands of Americans who can't get electricity, clean water, food, wireless signal, or internet to go on a sex podcast uh, that regularly talks about, uh, well, vulgar sex stuff. Called Call Her Daddy. And Kamala Harris, I think, without any notes, was asked, why are you even doing this? Like, what the hell's wrong with you? And her answer, shows you why she needs a prompter. Here we go. Curious, like you don't do too many long form interviews. What made you want to do Call Her Daddy today? Well, I think you and your listeners have really got this thing right, which is one of the best ways to communicate with people is to be real, you know, and to talk about the things that people really care about. I mean, what I love about what you do is that your voice in, in your show is really about your listeners. And I think especially now, this is a moment in the country and in life where people really want to know they're seen and heard and, and that they're part of a community, that they're not out there alone. Yo, there we have it, guys. That one coming from our friend Benny Johnson. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those who want to go over there, check that out. Also, you guys go over there and show our friend Benny Johnson a bit of love. Definitely a solid dude. Deserves a ton of love, guys. Go check him out. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't even know what Kamala Harris was beginning to say. Her reasoning for why she came on that Call Her Daddy podcast. I don't know what type of a word salad she conjured up there at the end, but it left both me and Benny lost for words. I'm 
What is going on? What is she even saying? She loves the way that she communicates to her audience through this platform. It just sounds like Kamala Harris is getting very desperate. Guys, they are all falling apart. Just like what we seen when that teleprompter went out. What Donald Trump say? She went out right along with it. And it's absolutely true. I mean, she is showing herself just not fit, not up to the task. Every single time, you know, a challenge is put in front of her, she tries to dodge it or she just gets stuck in the face of a challenge. This is so clearly showing us that she is not the leader that they are trying to dress her up as Donald Trump saying multiple times that, you know, I don't even use a teleprompter half the time. They got the sun beaming straight down on the words. I could barely see what's going on anyways. Donald Trump's able to speak from the heart, be so genuine because he hears the American people. He knows um, the challenges, the problems that Americans are faced all across the country. And he knows how he could solve them, you know, and when you've got a candidate who's able to speak like Donald Trump is, the other side is not even an option to you guys. Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you'd enjoy more content like this, catch you guys on the next one. We go.